Just another weekend in Weimar. On Saturday, a nightclub in Dallas held an event called Drag Your Kids to Pride. At the event, little kids dance with drag queens and tip them with dollar bills. This is grotesque. Sexualizing children always is. So there were a small number of brave protesters outside. One of them was our friend Alex Stein. He tried to get into the event because it was a public event. And so he was assaulted. Watch. Get away. Get away. Chill out. Take your mask off. Good for Alex Stein. If more people acted like that, we'd have less sexualizing children. Notice the last thing they want you to do is see it. That's why they attack you when you do. Jason Rance is a radio host in Seattle. He joins us tonight. Jason, thanks so much for coming on. This is so crazy. It's hard not to think. Uh, I don't know what to think of this. What are we, what are we watching? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I'm old enough to remember when drag queen story hours were the things that we were outraged at because that's so clearly inappropriate. In this case, you've got a neon pink sign as a backdrop declaring it's not going to lick itself as adult drag performers are dancing and lip syncing and even collecting dollar bills from young kids as their parents were sipping on their drinks, having a good time. It took place at Mr. Mr., which is a gay nightclub and bar that was far-right propagandist Tucker Carlson literally cheering on self-described Christian fascists as they harassed people attending a family-friendly event. Now, as they pointed out, yes, there was a neon sign there that said it's not going to look itself. Now, if you don't have the context, I don't think it's unreasonable to assume that that is indeed sexual innuendo. If I took my child to this event and they asked about that sign, I'd simply tell them, it's referring to ice cream. Now, if I told my child that, I would actually be correct because that sign quite literally is referring to ice cream. It's not going to lick itself is the catchphrase of an ice cream company in Dallas. And this company has been around for a very long time, and that has always been their catchphrase. Cauldron Ice Cream has four different locations in Texas, including a store in Dallas. And Dallas is where the Mr. Mr. Drag Show took place, and they catered the event. You know, children love ice cream. This was going to be an event for families, age appropriate. So they thought, let's get ice cream. And we're going to have their, uh, you know, iconic neon sign there. And people took that as, oh my God, they're trying to sexualize children. Now, they also referenced dollar bills. And I don't necessarily know specifically what he's referring to, but there's an image online that has gone viral. It's been spread by libs of TikTok, and it's an image of a small child allegedly stuffing dollar bills into a half-naked drag queen's bikini. Now, the problem with this claim is that that wasn't a drag queen, that's a cis woman, and this didn't even take place at Mr. Mister, the drag bar that hosted the family-friendly event that Tucker Carlson was clutching his pearls over. Yes, it is true that at the Mr. Mister family-friendly drag show, the Drag Your Family to Drag event, children were handing drag queens dollar bills, but they were putting them in their hands, and the drag queens were fully clothed. Also at this event, they played musical chairs. They walked up and down the runway in fun costumes and silly wigs, and it was completely harmless. But yet, that didn't stop the right from spreading rumors about this particular event. Libs of TikTok did this as well. And it's no surprise that Christian fascists, people who describe themselves as Christian fascists, by the way, something that Tucker Carlson didn't tell you, showed up to this event and harassed them. Now, in case you missed what he said there, that was Christian fascist leader John Doyle saying that the police should go in there and put bullets in all of their heads. Now, that's not the only call for violence from this particular group. 
Cade McGuffin drove 50 miles to harass these families during Pride, and he reportedly asked police why they weren't going inside and cracking schools like they did in the old days. Yeah. So this is the group of people who Tucker Carlson is cheering on. Now let's go back to the very beginning of that Tucker Carlson segment. Just another weekend in Weimar. Now what exactly did he mean by that? Well, as Alejandro points out, when introducing the segment on fascists attacking a Dallas drag event, Tucker Carlson opened with the line, just another weekend in Weimar. This is a talking point among fascist neo-Nazis who justify Nazi persecution of gays in Nazi Germany. I'm going to repeat that last sentence again. This is a talking point among fascist neo-Nazis who justify Nazi persecution of gays in Nazi Germany. He opened the segment that way and then went on to condone harassment from self-identified Christian fascists of queer people. Now look, you might think, well, maybe it's not necessarily just about queer people. Maybe Tucker Carlson is just really concerned with the sexualization of children. Okay, well, uh, when was the last time he's condemned this? How about this? Mm, has he spoken out against this at all lately? Anything, Tucker? See, he only cares about the supposed sexualization of children if it involves queer people. Because in his bigoted worldview, queer people are inherently evil and promiscuous and they're predatory and they want to prey on your children. Therefore, at a drag event, that's inherently sexual. If you put on, you know, a Halloween costume and a wig and sing karaoke at home, it's fine. But if you do it around queer people, mm, that's sexualization, according to Tucker Carlson. Now, all of this hysteria online has led to mass harassment across the state of Texas. As journalist Steve Monticelli reported, terroristic threats were reported by bar owners in the Cedar Springs neighborhood just hours after the Christian fascists openly fantasized about taking away LGBT rights and police shooting LGBT people. Now, on top of that, libs of TikTok, they continue till this day to highlight family-friendly pride events, share out their locations, and incite even more harassment against queer people. And yet, Twitter refuses to take action against this account as they literally do targeted harassment and direct their more than 1 million followers to harass these pride events that are family friendly. Do you think that if you show up to one of these events and harass the families there, that that's somehow less traumatizing to children than witnessing the existence of gay people? I mean, these people, they have demented minds. Demented minds. Now, um, I want to explain the broader context with which all of this is taking place. So, this is all happening in the state of Texas. Now, the state of Texas is terrorizing families who dare to seek out gender-affirming care for their trans children. They're being investigated as child abusers, and because of that, the state of Texas is being sued for mass discrimination against these parents. Now, here's the effect that this has had on one family who's now a party to this lawsuit. According to the lawsuit, a 16-year-old transgender boy tried to kill himself the same day that Abbott issued the child abuse directive. He said that the political environment, including Abbott's letter and being misgendered at school, led him to take these actions, the lawsuit said. He survived the attempt and was admitted to an outpatient psychiatric facility where staff learned he was undergoing hormone therapy. A week after he was discharged, an investigator from DFPS visited the family's home and, according to the lawsuit, said that the psychiatric facility had reported the family for child abuse. The family remains under investigation. But these Republicans care deeply about children. Deeply. Now, you need to understand that them attacking trans children and LGBTQ plus youth is just the beginning. It's essentially a Trojan horse because once they hook you with that and you buy into the premise that demonizing LGBTQ plus people is protecting children, well, then they're going to go after what they really want, which is LGBTQ plus adults and try to eradicate them from existence. But don't take my word for it. Take the word of self-described theocratic fascist Matt Walsh, who admitted that he wants to restrict even adults from transitioning. And he also produced a blatantly anti-trans propaganda piece that is now being promoted by supposedly left-leaning people like Matt Taibbi. And all this hate, these laws, is going to lead to the deaths of queer people. 
across the country, but mostly in Texas, where trans youth are completely unsafe. But that's the point. It's not an unintended consequence. There's a reason why when you explain to transphobes that gender-affirming care is medically necessary and it reduces suicidality, they don't seem to care. It's because they want to wipe trans people out of existence, take trans children away from their loving parents if they seek out gender-affirming care, ban trans adults from transitioning altogether. I mean, we're talking about freedom of speech here, freedom of expression, gender expression, and they're now openly saying it. One of the most visible trans propagandists, anti-trans propagandists in the country, Matt Walsh, is saying, yeah, I don't think adults should transition to. And then you have leftists like Matt Taibbi, piece of shit that he is, promoting this propaganda. And then the most popular news show in America is quoting Nazis and condoning and celebrating harassment of queer people. Do you understand how much worse it's going to get? Queer people are not safe in certain states. Trans people are absolutely unsafe in Texas. And we have no opposition party fighting for us. Democrats aren't doing anything to counter the hundreds, literally hundreds of anti-LGBTQ plus laws introduced and passed this year. Nothing at the federal level. They control the White House, the Senate, the House, and we don't even really hear them talking about how this is bad. The fascists have taken over. And we've let them take, it, uh, take over. We've let them win. And people are going to literally die because of this. Hate crimes will be committed. Suicides will be committed. And this is just going to keep happening and will get much, much worse until people take this seriously. So when you hear Tucker Carlson quote Nazis and condone violence against queer people. When you see individuals online gin up hatred and direct their followers to harass these queer spaces, you have a responsibility as an ally to condemn this and not go along with it. Don't feed into their narratives. Forcefully condemn it because we are in a situation where it is quite literally life or death 